Hi kids, welcome back. This is Nick, your Spark tutorial expert. So today I'm going to teach you how to use Spark to make your video. First thing that you need, make sure you get the rubric, double click it, download it, just to check the things that you need to have in your video. For example, here we have, you need to have extra details about your character or your celebrity. If you know them well, give me extra information to make it interesting. Also, because it's all in past, be sure to use verbs in past tense. And do your best to use vivid pictures and good words. What does that mean? That don't say things like good or it was a nice day. Change it. Use something like wonderful. It was amazing. You can use your little writing portfolio for this as well. Okay. Here, it's also very important to note the video must only be between two and two and a half minutes. If it is longer, it's not going to work. If it is shorter, it's too short, okay? Be sure to also use transitions, like the Awoobies. You also have some of this in your writing office. Check them, there are things like first, second, after, then. This is just to organize your ideas and so that things look in the correct order. For this video, you need to have your storyboard ready. This is the one that I made about The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Here I have two different ones for the morning two for midday, and it's up to you. You can have two for the night or two for the afternoon. Under each picture, I have a little description of what it is. For example, I met The Rock and his family, and they showed me their house. Or in this one, he invited me to have a huge breakfast. What do we need for this ones? You need to find these images in Google. So let's look for the first one. I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna open. So remember, in the first part, he met his family. So I'm gonna go for Dwayne Johnson family. You go to images and here we have a lot of options. So you're gonna pick one that you feel is the best one. I think that this one is really cute. So you just click with your right click and you select Guardar Imagen. For this I would recommend that you have a folder. For example I have the folder GCB. Put a name that you remember. I'm gonna have the rocks family and I save it and that's it. All right, so now that that's over, we're going to have to create our Spark account. If you guys were not with me last year, well, you need a new account. How do we do that? First thing, look for Adobe Spark in Google. After you open it, you should get to this page. In here, you're going to click Empezar Ahora. If you do not have an account, well, you need to create a new account. How do you do that? You click here, Registrarse con el Correo, and you're going to use your school's ID. In this case, I'm gonna use Maria Paula, who lent me hers. So I write here the name. So you go for Maria Paula. In this one, we have Valencia. You're going to give it a password. For the password, what is really important is that you need to have all of these things. Eight characters, capital letters, and some minuscule letters. You also need to have one number at least and that's it. In this case, I'm just gonna give it, sorry Mapa, I don't remember your birthday, so I'll just give you a random one. You were born in 2005. Sure, why not? And let's give it 2000. Super old. And then we're going to just create the account. It's that easy. And now we have an account in Spark. As soon as you open it, it's going to take you to this website. In here you have very good options, but I recommend just clicking here the X, you close it, and now it's going to take you here. In here we have some examples of what you can do with Spark, but you're going to click in here omitir este paso, okay? Because if not, we cannot create a project. Just go to omitir el paso, and that's it. We're ready to go. Here's a little explanation of what you can do, how you can get to your things, and in here you click crear proyecto. For this one, you're going to click video because we're making a video, right? And it's going to start to open it. First thing that you need to have, you need to have a title for your video. So in this case, I'm going to have a day with the rock. But let's make it even better. An amazing day with the rock. Perfect. Then it's going to give you the option of selecting one of these templates. Don't choose any of them. Just click here, Comenzar de Cero, or start from scratch. As soon as you click here, you're going to go into a main page. What I want you to think now is, 
think about the title that your video is going to have. Here is a little tutorial if you want to watch it. If you are ready, just click here in OK. And this is your main page. First thing that we need to have, this little page in here is going to be the title. So you need to have title and subtitle. Here you get the two little plus signs. These ones are for you to add information. So you have in here your title. I have an amazing day. Oh, I missed the G. An amazing day with the rock. Okay, and in this one, I'm going to put who did it. This one was by. In this case, I'm going to have. Oh, I lost it. Okay, let me move this one a little bit. Uh, there it is. You can also just click in here to move things around. If you want to make more space for it, you can always just click on it and you can keep editing. So in this case, by Nicolas. Oh, wrong one. All right. Perfect. After you have this, you can click in this one if you want to add any extra pictures, anything that you feel is going to be useful for it. So you can click here, you can add videos. In this case, we're only going to add photos if you want one. In this one, I am not sure if I have one, so I'm going to look here for free photos. And we're going to look for party. Why not? All of the photos that are here, you can just use them and they're going to look super nice. For example, this one looks super cool actually. Just click on it and immediately it's going to load it up in here. All right, let's move this one a little bit down. This one too. All right. So that is the first one that you need to have. If you guys look at the storyboard that we made, storyboard has at least six one plus the title. So you need to have at least seven slides. How do you make these slides? Well, you go back to Adobe and here to Spark. And as soon as Spark opens, what you need to do is to create your different slides because it's taking a little bit up. Oh, here it is. Okay, you just click here on the plus sign to make an extra slide. So if you click it in here, you're going to get a brand new one in here. All right. So in this one, what can you do? Well, if you remember, the first one that I have here is I met the rock and his family. We already have the picture for that. So the only things that we need to do in Spark now is select the picture that we picked and load it up in here. So we click in here photo. This time, not a free photo. We have it here, so you go to Cargar Photo. Look for it, here we have the Rocks family. Oop, I have it twice. Click Open, and the image is going to open in here. In this case, as you can see, the image is too big. So what can you do? You can click here on this little pencil thing, and it's gonna give you the option to make the image bigger, smaller, or to move it around. So let's just wait a little bit for it to open up. And as soon as we have the options, we can move it around. So this one I thought was too big, so let's make it smaller. Every time you click it, you get a little bit smaller. And you can also just push it and pull it around. Okay, in this case, I thought that, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I click outside. You still have the plus sign here. Why? Because you can always click here, via ilustración, or you can click on the plus sign to add text. Each one of this, I feel it's really good if they have a little bit of text just so that we know what is happening in each one of the images. So for this one, we're talking about having something that talks about the... What did I do here? Oh, in this one, I met the, rock, the Rocks family. So you can just have a little like subtitle that explains what is happening there. In this one, I'm going to have... Okay, it's a little bit slow. All right. I met the Rocks family. We need to have this one in capital because Rock is a proper name, apparently. I met... Ooh, I'm missing a team. All right, I met the Rocks family. Perfect. So now that we have this little part in here, the most important thing that you need to do in Spark is this little microphone here. This microphone allows you to record yourself from between 10 to 20 seconds. This is where you're going to tell me the story because this doesn't tell me any story. It's good images, good photos, but it doesn't tell me an image and a story of what's happening. So you just click here on the microphone and keep it pressed. Always remember, allow, permitir. If you click it once, nothing is going to happen. So you have to click it and keep it pressed. 
And now it's recording. You can see how many seconds we've been speaking from here. So the idea is that you start to record, check that you're not speaking for more than 15 seconds and tell me what is happening. If you're going for too long, it's going to tell you you're speaking too much. As soon as I let it go, it's been recorded. You can record as many times as you want. So for example, I click here, play, and I don't like what I'm listening. Let's check it. Keep it pressed. And now it's recording. You can see how many seconds we've been speaking. All right, so uh, I'm not a big fan of it. So I can just click it again. I keep it pressed and I can record it again. This is an example of how the video is going to look like. I met the Rocks family in the morning. They were already wearing superhero costumes. What a cool family. Even the dog was surprised. All right, I think that that's much better and it's already in here. So what else do we need to do? After we have made this, we already have that part for the project, we need to get an extra slide. So just click on the plus and you get an extra one in here. On this side, same thing. You can just add text, photo, or even an icon. What is the icon for? Well, maybe you didn't find what you were looking for. If you guys remember, I wanted to talk about having breakfast with the rock. But maybe there's no pictures of me having breakfast with the rock, or there's no pictures, I don't know what that is. So I could just easily check in here, we could look for breakfast. And it's going to give me different options in here for images related to breakfast. So I like this one, I just click it once and immediately it shows up here. Remember, always try to add some text to give me context to know what's happening. Click on the plus, as soon as you see the T for text, you can write a little bit of text in there just to let me know what's happening. And that's more or less Spark. Last things for you to keep in mind. Here you have in the top, you have options like Tema. If you click here in Tema, or in theme, if you're in English, in theme, you're going to be able to decide what kind of letter do you want for your text or if you want to have any specific kind of color. So for example, I thought that, yeah, blue looks cute, so I'm going to keep it in blue, but I could also have it in green, I could have it in yellow, or any of these other styles. It's up to you, okay? It's your decision how you want it to look. For instance, if I had this one, I met the Rocks family, and I was like, yeah, it looks cool, but I want it to be in black and white. All right, so you can just click on it and immediately it's going to start loading and change the letter and change the background. Also, if you want to give me a specific feeling, remember creating the mood, creating an atmosphere, you have the option here for music right here in the corner. So if you click in music, you're going to be able to find different free music. So here you have some for things that are happy, things that are fun. So I think this one is really fun. So let's go with Whistle. And my recommendation for all of you is check in here the volume. You don't want the volume to be super high. Why not? Because I'm not going to be able to hear you. You're going to just disappear behind the music. So leave it very, very low, okay? Try to push it a little bit. And as soon as it goes down, that's gonna make your voice sound much, much better than last time. All right, so very important for everybody. As soon as you're finished with this, you're going to click here where it says Compartir, and then you're gonna click where it says Publicar. So you have to give it a little bit of time where it finishes saving everything. Again, okay, let's check. All right, it's ready. You give it a, you give it a title, An Amazing Day with a Rock, who's the author, Maria Paula, perfect. And you click in Crear Vínculo. You have to wait for this thing to load all the way here. If you close the page or if you click X in here, you're going to cancel everything that you did and the video is never going to show up. So please be very careful, wait for it. And as soon as it loads up, you're going to get the option to copy the link. What I need you to do now is just click where it says copiar and we're going to go to assignments. That's where you're going to send it. You click in here, copy them copiado or in English you're gonna get copied. Why do you need this? Because if you go here, remember in general, here's where you can see the assignments, like the one of the biography. We also have one for voice four, one for Friday's homework. I'm gonna do it in here because Mapa sent it in the chat. So for this one, 
you just have to click open here in Tareas, wait for it to load. As soon as it opens, it's going to tell you, well, it's going to say synthesis project, the instructions. And in here, what do you have to do? Click agregar trabajo. In here, instead of selecting a Word document, you click vínculo. And in vínculo, you just have to copy paste the Spark address that it gives you. And in here, you can just copy a text. For example, I would have an amazing day with the rock. And I add the video. You have to wait for this little blue thing to disappear. All right, it's ready. And I just click here in entregar. All right, and that way it's already sent. If I go to my teacher's one, I would check it. I would just go in here to homework. So I'm going to check who sent me this video. So let's check in fifth grade. Well, this one, if you remember, you send it in, Friday's homework. I'm just going to look for Mapa in this particular case because I know that she's the one that has the video I need. And as soon as it opens here, as you can see, I see the title, An Amazing Day with the Rock. And if I click here, immediately it's going to open the video for me. So that's really cool because we can all watch the video, we can see what happened, and we can all love it, all right? So that's it, guys. That's today's video about Spark. If you have any other questions, please be sure to let me know. And I hope it was very useful. Bye-bye.